Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Eradication X. Now today I'm going to show off some of the brand new custom armor they have. They have the full obsidian armor. Now you also have a range version of the helm and a melee uh, and a mage version of the helm. Now if you equip this, this actually looks pretty sick as you can see right there. But that's not all guys. They also made it so you can actually upgrade this into elite obsidian. For that you do need some scrolls like the elite um, kit right here. Uh, so if you just read these scrolls, you make the elite, um, alright, let's hit the melee uh, helmet. So if you read these scrolls, you make the elite obsidian warrior uh, armor. As you can see, this looks really dope with the red and black. Now of course, there is a, man uh, a way to receive these scrolls, and that is by actually going ahead and do custom quests. So if you go to the um, X right here, um, the quest journals at the bottom, you can actually see in this custom tab that they have the quests and as you can see right here there are three quests which you can um, which you can do so we have the elite chapter 1 chapter 2 and chapter 3 as you can see there are some requirements for these as well but i'm going to do these right now so you guys um, can see what you get as a reward okay so the quests are basically pretty straightforward you just get a paper with uh, a bunch of tasks you have to do um, and once that is done you actually complete the quest so um, yeah, the quests are pretty straightforward. Right now I just have to collect some bones of um, these three NPCs. Um, okay, no luck this time. I should try killing more for the... Oh, okay, so you don't actually get the bones 24-7. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll have to kill a few of each of these. I have to get bones of Fatal Resort, uh, of um, Copyright, and then this boss was called something. Now these are pretty easy. They don't have too much HP and I just have to protect and um, maybe eat a few times. But yeah, I just have to get the bones and then I can grind the bones into ashes and then I have to put them in this bottle and um, then I have to use a feather on it and I will be completed. Right, now this was totally unexpected. I'm still going for the bones. Like from the others, I got the bones on the first kill. From this one, I already have eight kills, but I just got myself an offhand assassin crossbow, uh, crossbow drop as I am going for the bones, which is actually quite lucky. Very nice. Right, so I finally got the bones after 38 kills, which took quite a while, but um, once you enchant it, you have the ashes right here. Um, now they should be added to the pot of ink. Um, so let's have a look here. So yeah, I now have to dip a feather into the ink bottle. So for that, I have to go to the shops and just buy myself a feather. By then, I should be able to... Oh, I have to actually leave um, and instance. Uh, and then I should be able to finish the quest, so I'll be back in a second. Right, so now I have the Inky Quill, I should be talking to um, Sindrit right here, and this should be actually the end of the quest if I go through this. He will enchant something and he will give me my reward. Also, I got like three freaking something um, trio key pieces, and then also a trio key piece of copyright, which was kind of lucky as well. Um, so yeah, what do I have to do now? Oh, Alright, so I had to go a bit back and forward, but as you can see the quest is now complete. You can now use your scroll of enchantment to turn a set of obsidian boots into elite boots. Um, and if you need another scroll, you can use uh, Sundred's chest to buy another one, which is right here. So uh, you can buy yourself some elite scrolls now. Um, which would cost you um, 20 bill, which is quite a lot though. But yeah, besides that, you can all do the chapter two and the chapter three as well um, to get yourself some more scrolls and all that good stuff. So yeah, that is pretty nice. But as you could see me use in the videos, these weapons are also lead. So of course, besides the obsidian armor itself, you can also upgrade all these weapons. So the ascensions, the royal courts and the virtus. So by just uh, reading out the scrolls, you can actually enchant all of these into the elite version as well. So now I have the elite virtus book with elite virtus wand and the elite ascensions and of course the elite royal uh, court rapiers. Alright, so the Elite Obsidian has one more and certainly really nice benefit and that is if you have the full Elite set, you can actually do a custom version of raids on the server. Um, you have to type the colon colon start raid um, once you have the full Elite Obsidian set and then you'll be teleported in a custom raid session. Now this is a single player raid, so um, you won't need a team for this, but once you are in here, you basically have to... Um, go ahead and do whatever they ask you. The first round is basically killing all the skeletons that spawn and then you can go ahead and uh, go to the next um, room and so on and so on. So I'll be just speed running through this um, elite dun uh, through this raid. Hopefully I don't uh, mess up too much because this is the first time I am doing this as well and I'll just be um, putting the 
um, speed up version of the raids um, in the background with some music so you guys can check out how this works. Okay, <clears throat> so um, basically I just uh, defeated the boss and this is the chest room, so um, yeah, I have been rewarded with a lot of coins. Oh, and you have to pick them these up before you get crushed with stones, I suppose. Um, oh wait, what? This is 150 mil each time? Okay, so that's basically, what's that, 5 times 150? That's 750 mil cash. Okay, damn, that's quite a lot more than I thought. I don't know what the rare rewards are from this or if you can get any. So um, yeah, I'll be asking that at the owner in just a moment, once I get out of- Oh wait, I also got invasion tokens, didn't notice that. 121 invasion tokens, pretty cool. And here we go, we just finished another boss, let's see what we can get as loot this time around. And um, oh, we get some more coins and we get ourselves eradication potions, which are actually really good. So you basically get 750 mil cash each raid and then a random reward with it. Now um, I did ask what the best reward was um, just a moment ago at the owners and they actually said that there are three brand new sets which are the best in game, um, which will be the best in game slots. So um, let me go over those in a second. I'm just going to ask if I can actually get these sets just to showcase to you guys. So um, just give me one moment. Right, so I do have the brand new um, sets right here, so the Vindicta Mage set, the Furious Ranger set, and then the Grevor uh, Gregorovic Melee set, which will be the three best in-slot sets. Um, so let's have a look here how they look, so the Vindicta Mage set looks very nice. Now these are all custom armors made for the server, so they look very beautiful as well, and they will be custom to this. And uh, yeah, damn, I think out of all of these, I like the Furious Ranger set the most, or the Vindicta Mage set. Those two look the best, and then the Grigorovic Melee set, I don't like it that much. But um, yeah, these will be the best in slot sets. Now, as you can see right here, the bonus on these sets are actually quite high. This is just three pieces of armor. Um, of course, this is the Mage set, and it still does have like quite a lot of uh, melee bonus. Then this is the range set, as you can see right here, um, and then of course the um, melee set as well. I think they um, gave the stats to the wrong armor pieces, but I'll just mention this to them, and um, they'll fix it with the next update, of course. Um, but yeah, these sets look absolutely amazing. Now before I end off this video, I just want to announce a giveaway as well. I'll be giving away a Eradicator rank, which is the third best rank in game. This is $100 worth. So yeah, that's a really nice giveaway. But besides that, I'll also be giving away an old school RS or RS3 bond. Now there will be two winners, of course. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, comment your in-game name down below. Also make sure you like the video and turn on the notifications so you get notifications of further videos. But that will be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Definitely make sure to come check out the server. There is a lot of really cool custom features. It's so well developed and all that good stuff. So yeah, definitely make sure you join the server. I also have a money-making guide on the server already. So if you want and you are a new player, you can check that out. I'll leave the link down below in the description. But yeah, that will be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.